Talents editorial video where we're discussing personalization. Companies that can personalize the customer experience across physical and digital channels achieve a revenue that increases across their entire operations. According to a recent KPMG study of online consumers in the online environment, excellent customer support services are considered by 65% of respondents as the main attribute that influences customer loyalty. This is followed by exclusive promotions and offers, which covers about 45% of respondents, and then finally with loyalty programs that takes up 37%. These first three attributes are similar for all generations, with baby boomers placing greater emphasis on customer support services compared to Generation X and Millennials. Younger consumers tend to be more loyal to companies that offer personalized interactions, personalized promotions, anticipation of needs, belonging to a community, engaging in one-on-one -on -one conversations on social media, online games and other interactive experiences. To meet consumer expectations, hotels really must analyze their customer data and create the best strategy for customizing content and on-site experiences through the preferred outlets and channels of each individual guest. Hotels can succeed in the current landscape by understanding their guest and what their ideal hotel experience might be. Personalization makes up a part of the marketing strategy. It's about leveraging data analysis and digital technology to deliver that customer experience through individualized messages and relevant offerings based on past purchases and of course personal preferences. So where to start? Successful personalization lies in the data. The PMS is the primary hub for collecting and storing guest data. By capturing and storing contact details, personal preferences, stay history, and other important information, hotels can identify repeat guests, thereby personalizing the experience for the guests when they next stay. Creating and developing guest profiles using the right data is one of the most important components of effective personalization. Through frequent in-person interactions, hotel staff can learn a lot about the guests. So training hotel staff to record information and insights from guest interactions ensures that the hotel can anticipate future guests' needs. Using post-checkout surveys and forms, tracking website analytics, analyzing loyalty program usage, and other parameters available in technology all improve the guest experience. looking at what's, uh, how you can best personalize any experience, any buying experience, what customers are looking for, uh, could be any industry, uh, is that feeling that, well, the service provider knows what they're looking for. Um, they can be kind of guide them towards what they would like to, to, to purchase specifically for, for our industry. I think the, the in the hotel business, Personalization leads in a very pragmatic way. It's about generating uh, leads to more conversions, leads to more revenue, leads to more repeat purchases. So loyalty. So I think the fact that we are able in, in one way or another to cut through the noise and direct users towards what we think they would like or what makes more sense for that specific uh, visitor or user, um, what makes more sense for them. I think it's that directly uh, linked to revenue, repeat purchases, or just purchases right away. So being able to cut through the noise and pushing them towards what we think they would like to, to purchase. Marketing automation is obviously the, the most common or the, the most obvious one. Um, so, you know, you use that to send out marketing campaigns and you can personalize this communication based on virtually any kind of data point that you have in the, in the CRM solution. Uh, along those lines, we also have transactional guest communication uh, where we can personalize confirmations, cancellations, pre or post emails, and really use all the information that you capture during the, the booking process, but also information that you have about the guests in, in the profiles that you 
stored from, from previous days. And this is, of course, an excellent opportunity to do up and cross selling, uh, promoting packages or services that the guests didn't book, maybe like an airport pickup or a, or a breakfast. So that is, is an excellent uh, tool to do that. Now, if you have a loyalty program, that's obviously another uh, possibility that you have in order to do personalized communication towards uh, the guests, regardless of this is in a, in a loyalty marketing way, or if this is inside of a, a loyalty member portal where the um, member ideally should be able to, you know, find the best offers or managing their profile or preferences. And um, the portal ideally should be integrated with the booking engine so that you could have a seamless experience and a personalized experience here as well. Meaning um, you have single sign on, so you don't have to sign into the booking engine once you are in the portal. And maybe you have a uh, member level based pricing or even personalized pricing. So that's another example. One of my favorite technologies, however, is the website or the content management system. So not a lot of companies are making use of this today, uh, but it can, can definitely be a very, very powerful tool. Uh, at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is to generate more direct bookings and um, use direct booking channels. So if we if we look at, at the Sendine content management system, for example, it has a, a very powerful content personalization engine that can deliver content to different audiences by looking at things like, you know, is this a first time visitor or is this someone that is returning from a previous visit? How much time have they spent on the website? Where are they surfing the website from? So which country or city or even broken down to maybe a, a, an area within the city? language preferences they have. Have they started a booking with us, but they've never completed it? Are they surfing from a smartphone or from a PC? And many, many more metrics. So you can use this in order to, to tailor what information you want to show. So maybe you, you swap out images, or maybe you have other texts or offers displayed to these travelers or visitors, depending on who they are and what kind of guest segment or group they may might belong to. Or you could take this one step further and you could combine this with our customer data platform. So in that case, you're, you're also getting access to PMS data. So you can see if a guest has uh, you know, a previous stay or a future reservation, uh, or you could even use their interests and, and use this to personalize the website and how it behaves to the visitor. And, and that is, is quite powerful and um, I would say quite cool. So nowadays, the digital sphere uh, for quite some time now has allowed uh, hotels to capture a wealth of guest data that can be harnessed to optimize the processes that they've digitalized uh, and then through those further personalized to stay uh, through higher conversions. So using segmentation um, of uh, guest data can help you effectively boost conversion for processes such as you know online check-in uh, maximize the volume of feedback you're receiving for your in-stay survey and ensure your upsell offers um, are tailored uh, to each guest and using segmented delivery um, you you can boost conversion i'd like to draw upon these three examples and tie them to how they can link uh, to a more personalized stay uh, through higher conversion so Firstly, uh, in the case of online check-in, segmenting the delivery of your invitation by guest type can go a long way to boosting conversion. So let's think of a resort, for example. Um, they may want to have a different delivery schedule for their online check-in for their guests that are traveling internationally that are in the planning phase of their journey. So if I'm sending two, three days before an invitation to online check-in, we'll catch them just at the time when they're also looking at, you know, they're checking for their flights, they're planning how they get from the airport to the resort, um, confirming those final details. So if we kind of get that online check-in for the hotel within that same planning phase, then we'll get a higher conversion uh, for those guests. Whereas for my domestic guests, I might want a same day as check-in delivery um, as you know they're traveling to the property um, in the same day. So the reason I link that to personalization is the more guests that are completing um, online check-in, the less time front desk staff are having to take uh, on running manual processes, data entry, which in turn then gives them more time for offering a more personalized experience that all important um, arrival um, of the guest. 
So at the end of the day, um, I believe that's the reason why they got into hospitality, uh, not for data entry, uh, but for those kind of human interactions, the memorable moments we always call them. Another example would be boosting the conversion for your Insta survey uh, through segmentation. Uh, very simple, this one. Uh, I might want to ensure that I'm capturing um, guests that are uh, only staying for one night by doing a same day delivery uh, of my Insta survey, whereas a second day delivery uh, would be more apt for um, a guest that's staying for, uh, for, for more than uh, one night. The more conversion we got on Insta survey, the more feedback we're getting that we can react to. Um, and you know, create those memorable moments from the feedback that we've received, both positive and negative. Sometimes it's a positive, uh, whereas they're just requesting something. Other times it might be that you've captured a complaint. Uh, but yeah, the more um, conversion we're getting on our in-stay survey, the more time, oh sorry, the more responses you have uh, for, for, for offering that personalized experience based on their, their feedback. Well, I think that we have to look at this question from two different angles. And the first consideration would be, um, how is personalization being leveraged in the hospitality industry today? And the second being, um, what do we think personalization could be capable of in the future? So if we look at personalization today, there is, in fact, very little artificial intelligence involved, especially in the hospitality. I mean, the level of personalization used for marketing automation at the, or on a hotel website is pretty limited. And when it's done, it's mostly done at a fairly rudimentary level, like introducing a name in a greeting or something along those lines. And um, to me, this is really a shame because there are you know, so many hotels that could do so much more with all the data that they capture from various systems uh, across the properties. And even without artificial intelligence, properties could do so much more. Like for example, in email marketing campaigns, not only could you personalize subject lines and use the guest name along with content that might resonate well with the information you have about the guest, like preferences or previous stay information. If a guest is interested in, let's say, outdoor activities, uh, you could display offers that align with outdoor activities. Or if you happen to capture dietary preferences, maybe you are promoting your restaurant and you want to display images of vegetarian food if the recipient is vegetarian instead of a steak. So all of that is, of course, possible without artificial intelligence. And I also think that companies sometimes might not be 100% honest about what the solution really is capable of and as an end user it's uh, maybe difficult to understand if there's a really a artificial artificial intelligence or machine learning platform behind the scene or just a number of logical like if statements doing very basic validations and give response to actions based on that rather than looking at a huge pool of data from various perspectives if we take a look at the role of artificial intelligence in the future, I do see huge potential. But in order to use that in, in a meaningful way, first you have to consolidate all the data and um, transforming the data into actionable context. And one way of doing that is, of course, if you use um, something like a customer data platform that integrates all your different siloed environments like the PMS, CRS, maybe an online reputation management system, or even a CRM and, and build a true golden record. And once you have this consolidated data and integrate the whole infrastructure fully, we can imagine a solution which, uh, you know, for example, the revenue management uh, identifying that we have a need period and executes a marketing campaign for a specific reason there. And the marketing automation system uh, uses this information then to send out the predefined campaign to the right target audience based on the need that we identify through the RMS and pricing from that. And the target audience might be then based on information that we have on, on stay preference, historic stay data, like the time where we have this need period, uh, along with maybe lead times uh, to do the booking. So all of the information that we know about the profile from the customer data platform. I don't think that we're fully there yet, but I think we are um, well on the way of getting there. We can start with, let's say, first party data, how to best utilize that first party data. 
um, understanding how users, how visitors interact with your website, interact with the hotel, um, understanding how they book their booking behavior really, that can give you the first level of uh, understanding how they've been purchasing and later on being able to gather the data in one way or another, aggregate the data and personalize as much as possible. So before they even stay, you can use, well, uh, you can predict somehow in different ways, you can predict what the, the those visitors are looking for. So having access to first, I think that first body data and having a good tracking system gives you that, uh, that ability to personalize as much as possible uh, th that experience. That's the first bit. Second is having access to obviously uh, to either PMS or CRM systems, understanding what they booked previously, when your guests are staying, uh, what they buying, what they're purchasing, gives you that ability to upsell um, or give provide um, upsell uh, other uh, other services or provide them with the with an upgrade. So I think having really the ability to track everything at the hotel level, pre-stay, so that's on your website, understanding how they book, and while they're at the hotel, what they've been purchasing. So for you to be able to um, afterwards provide a better experience when they come back as a repeat, as a loyal, uh, um, as a loyal guest, they might come back again. So you have an access to, to CRMs, PMS, and all that data, and high level of automation, I would say, gives you that ability to be able to hyper-personalize the experience as much as possible during the stay, pre-stay, and after uh, after they stay. When, they, when, well, when would you like them to eventually come back to, to your hotel? Generally speaking, traditional hotel price structures uh, reflect uh, customer segments, star rating, and the inventory available on a certain uh, uh, lo location. But when we talk about personalization, it depends on the extent to which uh, we offer uh, matches the customer's expectations. So with personalized pricing, we are trying to match the perceived value of the product by the customer. And you, we know that these perceptions uh, vary according to preferences and desires. So we need a, a really high level of granul granularity to be able to be successful on a, a personalized pricing. And uh, hotels must have the organizational capacity uh, to collect, or organize and analyze personal and transaction uh, information that will be used then with online behavior data like uh, location, traffic source, uh, search history, uh, and others to generate the real-time personalized pricing. So I would say that the first step uh, would be to have the right organizational culture, uh, very data-oriented, and use the right tools uh, to centralize and structure all that data uh, so that you can use it uh, to personalize pricing for, for, for your guests. To draw upon one of my favorite examples uh, of a review pro client, um, they successfully connected their CRM to our guest feedback uh, tool. Uh, so the responses they're getting from their survey, then assign those responses they get from their survey through our open API um, to uh, the profile of that guest in the CRM. Now this isn't uncommon, clients have been doing this for years, but again, using further connectivity, they've gone a, a step further uh, by being able to connect that guest feedback then to the reservations dashboard in the PMS for when uh, the guest is checking in. You know, the front of house will have visibility uh, of any experiences that guest has had, both positive and negative at the hotel or at any of the hotels um, in the brand. So I just love to think about you know, being behind uh, uh, that front desk. Imagine, for example, you see that a guest has had a positive experience um, at breakfast and, you know, sung the praises of the breakfast at one of the hotels within the brand, you know, offering them a complimentary breakfast. Or conversely, if I've had a negative experience um, at that hotel or one of the hotels within the brand, you know, liaising with the teams because of what they've seen at check-in to ensure that uh, breakfast, as the example, um, is uh, is executed uh, perfectly. And any other the, uh, bits of feedback we're connecting, uh, collecting in that, that post-day survey that you, you've got visibility at check-in. Again, 
using that all-important arrival experience to make sure that we get off on a good foot um, uh, with the stay. So, I mean, integrations uh, have been a hot topic or the hottest topic for any buying cycle for quite some time now. But if you think about ensuring your booking engine can show reviews personalized to the visitor, your upselling tools can generate a case for the right team to ensure that the service delivery or the PMS displaying guest feedback um, a guest is given for a previous stay, you know, why wouldn't they be? And why wouldn't they continue to be the hottest topic? I believe there is for sure a connection uh, between uh, personalized pricing and uh, CRM. Uh, I'm not so sure about uh, the loyalty. I don't know if loyalty is essential for, for, uh, for price personalization. Uh, of course, loyalty can provide an important role on prices personalization strategy, but there are some questions that as hoteliers we, we should ask. Uh, like if you are a large hotel, hotel chain, of course, that you can uh, leverage your loyalty program uh, and use it on your price uh, for, for price personalization. Uh, but if you are like a small independent hotel, uh, it's not 100% liquid that you will have a, a big advantage in having a loyalty pro program. And uh, I say this because uh, the few studies that we have around the return on investment on personalization uh, don't uh, demonstrate that you have uh, a big difference on your return on investment between uh, one to one personalization or a one to one personalization that what your uh, loyalty program would, would bring to the table. Despite they all can be connected, uh, uh, and uh, that uh, loyalty can bring a fine tuning to your personalized pricing uh, strategy. I would say that it's not a must have. CRM for sure, it's a must have. Uh, the loyalty, it actually depends. In closing, personalized customer service is a customer expectation that has moved past just being a trend and into something that hotels must consider for their business. In today's day and age, people are looking for personalized experiences when they travel. Whether that means being greeted by name or having their preferences automatically saved and delivered for them. When hotels provide an authentic experience to customers, they will feel like they've found a brand that gets them and whose interests align with theirs, which ultimately makes for a better guest experience overall. Thanks for watching this video and, of course, for your ongoing support. Until next time, it's bye for now.